Minas Gerais is one of the 26 states of Brazil. It ranks as the second most populous, the third by gross domestic product, and the fourth largest by area in the country. The state's capital and largest city, the Lo Horizonte, is a major urban and finance center in Latin America, and is the sixth largest municipality in Brazil, after the cities of Sao Paulo do Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, Brasilia and Fortaleza, but its metropolitan area is the third largest in Brazil with just over 5,500,000 inhabitants, after those of Sao Paulo do Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. Minas Gerais is the Brazilian state with the largest number of presidents of Brazil. Brazil's current president, Dilma Rousseff, born in Belo Horizonte, is one of them. With an area of 586,528 square kilometers it is the fourth most extensive state in Brazil. The main producer of coffee and milk in the country, Minas Gerais is known for its heritage of architecture and colonial art in historical cities such as Sao Paulo do Joao Paulo del Rey, Congonhas, Oro Preto, Diamantina, Tiradentes and Mariana. In the south, the tourist points are the hydro-mineral spas, such as Caxombu, Sao Paulo do Lorena Section No, Po Section Os de Caldas, Sao Paulo do Toma Copyright das Letras. Monte Verde in the national parks of Capera Cubed and Canistra. The landscape of the state is marked by mountains, valleys, and large areas of fertile lands. In the Serra do Serpa Cubed, Seat Lagoas, Cor Dispergo and Lagoa Santa, the caves and waterfalls are the attractions. Some of Brazil's most famous caverns are located there. In recent years, the state has emerged as one of the largest economic forces of Brazil, exploring its great economic potential. Etymology, there are two interpretations for the origin of the name Minas Gerais. It comes from Minas dos Matos Gerais, the former name of the colonial province. So a first and more common understanding affirms that the name simply means general mines, with the word Gerais serving as an adjective to the mines, which were themselves spread in several spots around a larger region. Another explanation is that this ignores the two large geographical spaces which conformed the state in its history, the region of the mines, and the region of the Gerais. These corresponded to the areas of Serta Pound O which were farther and hard to access from the mining spots. The confusion comes from the fact that the term Gerais is taken as an adjective to Minas in the first version, although according to this point of view it refers to the region called Gerais. A further complication is that this is not a well-defined area on the map of the state, but rather a designation to these parts outside the mining spots, more related to the geography of certain pound O, and more isolated from the state's nucleus. Location Minas Gerais is in the north of the southeastern subdivision of Brazil, which also contains the states of Sao Paulo do Paulo, Rio de Janeiro and Espírito Santo. It borders on Bang, Goya S. Mato Grosso do Sul, the states of Sao Paulo do Paulo and Rio de Janeiro and the state of Espírito Santo. It also shares a short boundary with the Distrito Federal. Minas Gerais is situated between 14 A degree 1358 inches and 22 A degree 5400 S latitude and between 39 A degree 5132 and 51 A degree 0235 A W longitude. It is larger in area than metropolitan France or Spain. Geography Minas Gerais features some of the longest rivers in Brazil, most notably the Sao Paulo do Francisco, the Parana and to a lesser extent, the Rio Doque. The state also holds many hydroelectric power plants, including Furnas. Some of the highest peaks in Brazil are in the mountain ranges in the southern part of the state, such as Serra da Montequira and Serra do Servo that mark the border between Minas and its neighbors Sao Paulo do Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. The most notable one is the Pico da Bandeira, the third highest mountain in Brazil at 2890m, standing on the border with Espírito Santo State. The state also has huge reserves of iron and sizable reserves of gold and gemstones, including emerald, topaz and aquamarine mines. Each region of the state has a distinct character, geographically and to a certain extent culturally. The central and eastern area of the state is hilly and rocky, with little vegetation on the mountains. 
around Lagoa Santa and Seat Lagoas a typical karst topography with caves and lakes is found. Some of the mountains are almost entirely iron ore, which led to extensive mining. Recent advances in environmental policy helped to put limits to mining. About 200 kilometers to the east of Belo Horizonte is the second metropolitan region of the state, Verdú or Section No, which has iron and steel processing companies along the course of the Rio Doque and its tributaries. Verdú or Section O's largest cities are Ipatinga, Coronel Fabriciano and Timacubtio. Now that mining is restricted large areas of forest are being removed for timber, charcoal and to clear land for cattle ranching. The original forest cover of these inland hills is very much fragmented. The city of Governador Valadez is in the limit of this region with the poorer north. The south of Minas Gerais is hilly and green, with coffee and milk production. This region is notably cooler than the rest of the state, and some locations are subject to temperatures just below the freezing point during the winter. The region is also famed for its mineral water resorts, including the cities of Po Section Os de Calders, Zar Pando Lorena Section O and Caxombu. Many industries are located at Vargina and Pauso Alegre. The southeast of the state, called Zona da Mata was the richest region until the mid-20th century, nowadays the biggest city, Jus de Fora, remains an important industrial, cultural and educational center, being also the fourth largest in the Minas state. The day-to-day -day living in the Zona da Mata however, is better represented by a group of smaller cities like Ala Copyright Empera Bar, Via Section Nosa, Leopoldina, Categasis, Maria Copyright, Uber, Astolfo Dutra and several others. Those cities put together form a strong economic presence based mostly on agriculture, textiles and minerals. The city of the principal coffee region in Minas Gerais is Zar Pound Ojo Pound Odu Manal Section U situated in Zona da Mata. The west of Minas Gerais, also known as Trio Centenquilo Mineiro, is composed of a particular type of savanna, known as the Cerrado. This region was initially occupied by large freewheeling beef ranches, which are still important for the economy of the region. Over the 1990s, extensive soy and corn farms occupied much of the farming land available. The Cerrado is also one of the principal coffee growing areas of Brazil. The main cities of this region are Urbela Centendaya, Uberaba and Peitos de Minas. The north of Minas Gerais is arid, being subject to frequent droughts. Recent irrigation projects use the water from the Zar Pound O Francisco River for agriculture. The river crosses the northern region carrying water from its basin in the central area of the state, which is subject to a regular rainfall pattern. The diamond mines of this region, mainly in Diamantina, attracted miners but are now exhausted, and the remaining population lives in poor conditions, especially in the valley of the Jaquitan on Ha River. The region is, however, known for its high-quality Kuana section of production. Salinas in particular exports large amounts of this alcoholic beverage. The main cities of this region are Montes Claros, T-cubed Philo Otoni, Pirapora and Janaba. Geology, Paleontology the discovery of the Machacosaurus topi fossils was a significant paleontological find. The fossil is a genus of Titanosaurid dinosaur found 45 kilometers from the city of Prata, in the state of Minas Gerais in 1998. It was closely related to Saltosaurus, a sauropod considered unusual because it had evolved apparently defensive traits, including bony plates on its skin and vertical plates along its spine. Such osteoderms have also been found for Maxacosaurus. The genus name is derived from the tribe of the Maxacoli. Topa is one of their divinities. The Maxacosaurus fossils belong to an animal about 13 meters long, with an estimated weight of 9 tons, although, according to paleontologist Alexander Kelmer, it could reach a length of approximately 20 meters. It had a long neck and tail, ridged teeth, and lived about 80 a million years ago. Because sauropods seem to have lacked significant competition in South America, they evolved there with greater diversity and more unusual traits than elsewhere in the world. A replica has been displayed at the Mesa Nacional in Rio de Janeiro, since August 28, 2006. History 
Minas Gerais was formed mainly by colonists who searched for veins of gold and gems, and later diamonds which come from the naturally occurring Atakalumite rock that can be found in great numbers in the region. These helped to boost occupation of the inner lands and led to the foundation of several new villages. In 1697, the Portuguese used enslaved African labor to start building the Estrada Real, the Royal Road, that will connect the ports of cities of Rio de Janeiro and Parati to the mineral-rich regions of Ouro Preto, Cerro, and, at the northernmost point, Diamantina. The first capital and seat of the local sea was the city of Mariana. It was later moved to Vila Rica. In the late 18th century, Vila Rica was the largest city in Brazil and one of the most populous in America. As the gold mines were exhausted over the 19th century, the city lost its importance. It was later renamed Ouro Preto and remained the state capital until the construction of the all new, planned city of Belo Horizonte at the turn of the 20th century. The gold cycle left its mark in cities such as Mariana, Ouro Preto, Diamantina, Sabra, Tiradentes and Tsar Pondo Jo Pondo del Rey. The relative isolation from European influence, added to the huge influx of gold and other valuable minerals, helped the local people to develop their own style of art, which became known as Barroco Monero. Prime examples of this period are the richly decorated churches in the colonial cities. The most important artist of this period was Antonio Francisco Lisbo, who became known as Elijah Dinu. His sculptural and architectural work is highly valued by experts as one of the most refined artistic expressions outside Europe at that time. In addition to art and architecture, there was an explosion of musical activity in Minas Gerais in the 18th century. Printed copies of European music, as well as accomplished musicians, made the journey to the area, and soon a local school of composition and performance was born and achieved considerable sophistication. Several composers worked in Minas Gerais in the 18th century, mainly in Vila Rica, Sabra, Mariana, and other cities. Some of the names which have survived include Josa Copyright Joachim Americo Lobo de Mesquerta, Marcos Calho Neto, Francisco Gomez da Rocha and Ina Caio Pereira's Neves. They cultivated a style related to the classical European style but marked by more and more chordal, homophonic sound and they usually wrote for mixed groups of voices and instruments. Guimara Pounder's Rosa's literature is mostly situated in Minas Gerais, with locations widely located across the state rather than delimited and identifiable. This northern area began to be colonized and became accessible to colonists departing from Ban up north, which made the Portuguese crown insert the region within the state of Minas Gerais's borders in order to prevent gold and diamond smuggling from people trying to avoid colonial taxation and oversight. Thus the state of MG was closely watched by the crown because of its tax revenue. During the 18th century, mining exploration was strongly controlled by the Portuguese crown, which imposed heavy taxes on everything extracted. Several rebellions were attempted by the colonists always facing strong reaction by the imperial crown. One of the most important was the Felipe dos Santos revolt that ended with his execution but also with the separation of Minas Gerais of Tsar Pondo Paulo. The most notable one, however, was the Inconfida NCIA, started in 1789 by a group of middle-class colonists, mostly intellectuals and young officers. They were inspired by the American and French Enlightenment ideals. The conspiracy failed and the rebels were arrested and exiled. The most famous of them, Joachim José Copyright da Silva Zavia, was hanged by order of Queen Maria I of Portugal, becoming a local hero and a national martyr of Brazil. The Minas Gerais flag a euro a red triangle on a white background, along with the Latin motto Libertas Curicera Taman, freedom albeit late a euro is based on the design for the national flag proposed by the Inconfidence as the rebels became known. In the economic history of Brazil, Minas Gerais plays a pivotal role in shifting the economic axis from the Brazilian northeast to the southeast of the country, which still remains the major economic center. The large amounts of gold found in the region attracted the attention of Portugal back to Brazil, progressively turning Rio de Janeiro into an important port city from where these would be shipped to Portugal and where the Portuguese crown would eventually move its administration in 1808 after Napoleon Bonaparte's invasion of Portugal. 
due to the economic importance of the state and the particular traits of the local population a euro famed for its reserved and balanced character a euro Minas Gerais has also played an important role on national politics. During the 19th century, politicians such as José Copyright Bonifacio de Andrade e Silva were instrumental in the establishment of the Brazilian Empire under the rule of Dom Pedro I and later his son, Dom Pedro II. After the installation of the Brazilian Republic, during the early 20th century, Minas Gerais shared the control of the national political scene with Sao Paulo Paulo in what became known as the Coffee with Cream political cycle. Minas Gerais was also home to two of the most influential Brazilian politicians of the second half of the 20th century. Juscelino Kebitschk was president from 1956 to 1961, and he was responsible for the construction of Brasilia as the new capital of Brazil. Tancredo Neves had an extensive political career that culminated with his election in 1984 to be the first civil president after the 1964 military counter coup. However, he died after a series of health complications just as he was about to assume the position. Also, Itama, Brazil's previous president, lived there, though he was not born in Minas. See also the list of governors of Minas Gerais. Demographics According to the IBGE of 2008, there were 19,765,000 people residing in the state. The population density was 32.73 inhabitants per square kilometer. Urbanization, 85%. Population growth, 1.4%. Houses, 5,741,000. The last PNAD census revealed the following numbers, 9,091,000 white people, 8,927,000 brown people, 1,802,000 black people, 40,000 Asian people, 37,000 Amerindian people. Ethnic groups found in Minas Gerais include, Amerindians, Portuguese, Africans, Italians, Germans and Lebanese. The ethnic composition of the population varies from town to town. For example, in Carcube de Rarigio do Bom Jesus, a small town located in the extreme south of Minas Gerais, white people make up 98.7% of the population. The south of Minas Gerais is both the most European and the most densely populated part of the state. On the other hand, in Setubana, located in the northeast part of the state, 71.8% are mixed race and 14.7% blacks. It is historically explainable, southern Minas Gerais, in the border with Sao Paulo Paulo, received larger numbers of Portuguese farmers in colonial times. In the late 19th century, Italian immigrants also arrived. The north region, close to Bac, was a place to the arrival of many African slaves since the 18th century. The central part of the state, where the capital below Horizonte is, has a more balanced ratio between whites, blacks and mixed people. The population of Minas Gerais is the result of an intense mixture of peoples, particularly between black Africans and Portuguese. In colonial Minas Gerais, the population was divided in five different categories, whites, mostly Portuguese, Africans, who often did not have a surname and were usually known for their region of origin. Criollos, mulattoes and cabras. Blacks and mulattoes predominated in the population after the beginning of the colonization. By the 19th century, however, whites were already the largest single group in the Minas Gerais population. Taking the population as a whole, European genes account for the majority of the Minas Gerais genetic heritage, which has been explained on the basis of the extremely high mortality rates of the enslaved African population and lower reproductive rate of African slaves the Amerindian population was hit hard by the diseases brought by the European colonists and they did not have much of an impact either, especially in Minas Gerais, where European presence and colonization was massive. During the colonial period, the disproportion between the number of men and women was quite sharp. The census of 1738 in Cerro do Frio, which included Diamantina, revealed that of the 9,681 inhabitants, 83.5% were men and 16.5% women. Among the slaves, women were only 3.1%. The number of free women of color was very high. 
the same census revealed that 63% of the former slaves were women and only 37% men. Since interracial relationships between women of color, and white men were widespread, the female slaves were more likely to be freed than the male slaves. The monogamous family structure that the Catholic Church tried to deploy in colonial Brazil was the exception in Minas Gerais. At that time cohabitation and temporary relationships predominated in Minas Gerais, as well as in Brazil as a whole. Monogamy and weddings in churches would only take root in Brazil in the 19th century, fitting the moral standards imposed by the church. The role of women in colonial Minas Gerais was much more dynamic than it would be allowed by the standards of the time. Many women used to live on their own, were heads of family and worked, particularly the women of color, and former slaves. The society of Minas Gerais provided a great social mobility to former slaves, mainly for women. In Tijuco, the percentage of white males who were head of family was very similar to the percentage of black women who were head of family. Many former slaves were able to accumulate goods and many of them became slave owners as well. Some blacks and mainly mulattoes were able to integrate themselves in the highest social stratum of the society of Minas Gerais, once restricted to whites. This happened through a process of whitening their descendants and through the assimilation of the culture of the white elite, like being members of Catholic brotherhoods. Cohabitation was the most common crime in Minas Gerais. The Catholic Church was strict in the punishment of this crime, in order to prevent the widespread miscegenation between white, mostly Portuguese males with black or mulatto women. A genetic study, suggested that the whites from Minas Gerais would have slightly lower levels of European ancestry among the Brazilian regions and higher levels of African admixture, with significant Amerindian admixture, the European reference population in the study being 95% European. 2.8% Native American and 2.6% African, which would give an actual percentage of European ancestry of about 75% actual European ancestry, and less than 15% of each, Native American and African ancestries. According to another study, however, the European ancestry is dominant throughout Brazil at about 77%, Minas Gerais included. A new portrayal of each ethnicity contribution to the DNA of Brazilians, obtained with samples from the five regions of the country, has indicated that, on average, European ancestors are responsible for nearly 80% of the genetic heritage of the population. The variation between the regions is small, with the possible exception of the South, where the European contribution reaches nearly 90%. The results published by the scientific magazine American Journal of Human Biology by a team of the Catholic University of Brasilia, show that, in Brazil, physical indicators such as skin color, color of the eyes and color of the hair have little to do with the genetic ancestry of each person, which has been shown in previous studies. During the time of the Gold Rush, the largest European immigration of the colonial period, to all of the Americas, took place, about 600,000 Portuguese immigrated to Brazil during the Gold Rush, and most of them to Minas Gerais, the place where the Gold Rush activities took place. Most of them came from Entadoro e Minu, in northern Portugal. The reference book for a large number of these families is Vlahos Troncos Mineiros by Raimundo Trindade. The Native American population of Minas Gerais was estimated to be at 97,000 in 1500. By the time the Portuguese arrived in Brazil in 1500. Religion, Source, IBGE 2000. Economy. The service sector is the largest component of GDP at 47.1%, followed by the industrial sector at 44.1%. Agriculture represents 8.8% of GDP. Main exports, mineral products 44.4%, metals 15.8%, Vegetable products 13%, precious metal S 5.5%, foodstuffs 4.9%, transportation 3.5%. Share of the Brazilian economy, 9%. Minas Gerais is a major producer of milk, coffee and other agricultural commodities, as well as minerals. Electronics are also produced in Minas. The automakers Fiat and Mercedes-Benz have factories there. Tourism is also an important activity for the state. Historical cities like Oro Preto, 
Mariana, Sabra, Congonhas, Diamantina, Tiradentes, and Sao Pando del Rey, are a major attractive for visitors interested in their colonial architecture. Other cities, like Urexa, Po Section Os de Caldas, Lambayre, Caxombu, Levras, and others, attract visitors interested in their mineral water springs. Ecotourism is a rising economic activity in the state, especially in localities situated on the several serras that exist in Minas Gerais. The state has marked economic divisions. The southern part of the state has several mid-sized cities with solid industrial bases such as Jus de Fura, Vargina, Pauso Alegre, and Po Section Os de Caldas, as well as Ipatinga in the east of the state, which is also a modern and major industrial city and de Tabara, considered mother city of mining company Vale, that is stocks quoted in Bobsba and New York Stock Exchange. The northeastern region is marked by poverty, but Governador Valadez and T-cubed Philo Otoni attract foreign traders for the semi-precious gems such as topaz and sapphire. The central region of the state has big reserves of iron still being actively mined. There are also large companies installed the automotive industry, as manufacturers Fiat and Betim, IVECO and Seat Lagoas and suppliers of auto parts, as STOLA and USA parts. The western part, the Triacent and Kilo Monero, is less densely populated than the rest of the state, and it is now a focus of biotechnology investment, particularly on the cities of Urbela Cententia, Yulbareba and Patos de Minas, which includes leading research on cattle, soy and corn culture. Communications As of April 2007, there are 11.3 million mobile phones and 4.2 million telephones in the country. Minas Gerais City's area phone codes are from 31 to 38. Education Educational institutions Universidade do Estado de Minas Gerais, Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais, Universidade Federal de Urbela Cententia, Universidade Federal de Lavras, Universidade Federal de Ouro Preto, Universidade Federal de Via Section Nosa, Universidade Federal de Jus de Fura, Universidade Federal de Itajuba, Universidade Federal de Zar Pando Jo Pando del Rey, Universidade Federal do Trio Centenquilo Monero, Universidade Federal dos Vales do Jaquita non Rio Mu Curi, Universidade Federal de Alfinas, Centro Federal de Edicar Picavolt Pando Tecnola Cubed Jica de Minas Gerais, Pontificia Universidade Carta Cubed Lica de Minas Gerais, Faculdade de Cia NCIAS, Medicas de Minas Gerais FCMMG, Universidade Estadual de Montes Claros, Universidade de Itaúna, Culture. Minas Gerais may be called Deep Brazil by analogy with France Profonde. It is a distinctly more native flavor than cosmopolitan Zar Pando Paulo, a more traditional slant than flashy Rio de Janeiro, and is more Portuguese than the South and Zar Pando Paulo with their great influx of Italians and other Central Europeans, the North with its Native Americans, or the Northeast with its heavy Afro-Brazilian influence. People, those born and raised in Minas Gerais, also called Mineiros, bear an unmistakable accent that sets them apart from fellow Brazilians. They are considered reserved, prudent, relatively silent to the point of melancholy, but welcoming and family-focused. It is one of the most religious states, with a large proportion of staunch Roman Catholics and a burgeoning evangelical and neo-Pentecostal population, with pockets of African religions. The Spiritist doctrine is also professed by a significant portion of the population, partly due to the influence of Chico Xavier, the main spiritual icon of Brazil, who lived in Minas Gerais all his life. Cuisine Minas Gerais is also known nationally for its cuisine. The cultural basis of its cuisine is the small farmhouse, and many of the dishes are prepared using locally produced vegetables and meats, especially chicken and pork. Traditional cooking is done using coal or wood-fired ovens and cast-iron pans, making for a particularly tasty flavor. Some restaurant chains have adopted these techniques and made this type of food popular in other parts of the country. Many of the cakes and appetizers of the local cuisine use corn or cassava flour instead of wheat, as the latter did not adapt well to the local weather. The best-known dish from Minas Gerais is Pa Pound Odequejo, 
a small baked roll made with cheese and cassava flour that can be served hot as an appetizer or for breakfast. The state is also Brazil's most traditional producer of cheese. Minas cheese is renowned nationwide as the distinct Brazilian cheese. Canela Section A is also a local produce of some importance. The state cuisine is showcased in various festivals year-round and in many locations throughout the state, but the biggest festival is the month-long Comida de Buteco in Belo Horizonte, where 41 bars and restaurants are selected to create a dish using ingredients traditional to local cuisine. People from all over the country and abroad rate the food, the temperature of the beer, the ambience and service. In 2007, over 400,000 people participated in the festival according to Vox Populi statistics. Music Music is one of the most striking features of Minas Gerais and has been part of the history of the state since the early 16th and 17th centuries. From the 18th century, composers like José Joaquim Lobo de Mesquerta, Francisco Gómez da Rocha, Marcos Caljonito and Manuel de Oliveira Diaz reinforced the musical tradition of Minas, with the composition of Baroque pieces that are now revered as masterpieces. For classical music, the state features productions and performances of various orchestras and choirs. Among them there are the Symphonic Orchestra of Minas Gerais and the Coral La Rico de Minas Gerais, a state choir, maintained by Clovis Salgado Foundation an institution linked to the Secretary of State for Culture. These and other groups have a strong presence in the capital and throughout the state, working for the popularization and democratization of classical music. One of the most prolific contemporary composers was born in Minas Gerais, Professor Dr. Anderson Viana, which music has been recognized most frequently abroad. The most varied rhythms and sounds have their origins in the state. A barrasso, who in 1939 composed one of Brazil's best-known songs throughout the world, Aquela do Brasil, was born in Uba, in the Zona da Mata Mineira. In the 1960s and 70s streets in the traditional neighborhood of Santa Teresa, below Horizonte, were the scene of one of the most important movements of national music, Clube da Escna. With a unique blend of Brazilian popular music with pop and jazz, the club was met with talents like Milton Nascimento, Wagner Tiso, Danino Horta, Fernando Brandt, La Borges, Beto Guedes, and Flavio Venturini. In the 1980s and 90s a scene of heavy metal bands has been held in Below Horizonte. It's the origin of important Brazilian bands of this genre, many of them are known worldwide, such as Sepultura, Saca Cubed Fargo, Overdose, Mutilator, Holocausto and Chacal. The current scenario continues reflecting the vibrancy and dynamism of its culture. A new generation of artists is represented by names like Skank, Pacho Fu, Jota Quest, Vanda Lee, Arcti, Marina Machado, Mora Kaya Tizumba, Baron Brown, Copa Lagoina and Amaranto. Moving freely through different rhythms like rock, reggae, heavy metal, samba and MPB, among others, the music in Minas Gerais continues the excellence and diversity that has always been a staple in the country. The important international festival of colonial Brazilian music and ancient music takes place in Jus de Fora since 1989. Brazil's most prestigious dance company, Grupo Corpo is also from Minas Gerais, having its headquarters in Belo Horizonte. Museums Mariano Proca Cubed Pio Museum, in Jus de Fora, and Centro de Arte Contempora Cent Ney in Hotim, in Bruma de Nu, are among the most important cultural institutions. Famous personalities, many famous Brazilian writers were born in Minas Gerais, Carlos Drummond de Andrade, Fernando Sabino, Pedro Nava, Murilo Mendes and Joe Poundo Guimara Poundes Rosa. Aviation pioneer Alberto Santos Dumont was born in Minas Gerais, as well as various politicians, such as Presidents Afonso Pena, Vincenzo Braues, Dilfe Moreira, Arta Bernards, Juscelin Okibich, Tancredo Neves and Dilma Rousseff. Former President Itamar Franco is usually included in lists of presidents born in Jus de Fora, Minas Gerais, but he was actually born prematurely in a ship traveling in the Atlantic Ocean. Minas Gerais is often recognized abroad as the state where the footballer Pella Copyright was born. Infrastructure International Airport, 
Tancredo Neves Confins International Airport is located in the municipalities of Lagoa Santa and Confins, 38 km from Belo Horizonte, and was opened in January 1984. It was planned from the start for future expansion in steps to meet growing demand. The airport has one of the lowest rates of shutdown for bad weather in the country. However, the Confins Airport was not using much of its capacity until 2005 when it was decided that a large part of the Pampola Airport flights would move to Confins. The first step was undertaken with careful concern for the environment, including monitoring by specialized consultants, since the region has a rich archaeological heritage. Among the hundreds of caverns in the region, the one at La Pavermuja stands out. Located 2.7 a km from the airport, the oldest female cranium in the Americans was discovered there, dated at roughly 12,000 years old. Confins is certified by the ISO 9001 standard, covering 10 processes in the administrative, operational, safety security and maintenance areas. The Tancredo Neves International Airport has both domestic and international flights. However, the airport is now heavily congested, operating at almost double its design capacity of 5 million passengers a year. Administrative Center slash Sidade Administrativa de Minas Gerais, a new administrative center was completed in March 2010, for the state of Minas Gerais. Designed by the internationally renowned architect Oscar Nemia, the center consists of four large buildings on an 800,000 square meter site. Two buildings accommodate 17 of the state ministries, the third building consists of an auditorium, with capacity for 540 guests. The fourth and most impressive building is the Palacio do Governo, which is the world's largest suspended structure, built in reinforced concrete. The building has a 150m span and its roof is supported by four columns. Highways, Minas Gerais is the Brazilian state that harbors the highest mileage of highways. The state highway network is 269,545 kilometers of which only 11,396 on federal roads and 21,472 on state highways and state coincide, corresponding to all other municipal roads. Because of his central position, the state is crossed by the most important national highways, like BR-116, BR-040 and others. Many of the most important Brazilian routes cross the state and, for this reason, it counts the greater proportion of car accidents per capita. BR 122, BR 040, BR 135, BR 146, BR 251, BR 259, BR 265, BR 265, BR 265, BR 265, BR 267, BR 352, BR 354, BR 356, BR 356, BR 364, BR 367, BR 367, BR 367, BR 381, BR 381, BR 383, BR 383, BR 393, BR 459, BR 462, BR 464, BR 491. Sports, as in the rest of Brazil, football is the most popular sport among locals. Pela Copyright, widely considered the best footballer of all time, was born in the Minas city of Traescara Picavolt Micronis. The Low Horizonte is home to two of the most successful teams in the country, and the city also has one of the biggest football stadiums in the world, the Mineira Poundo, opened in 1965. Reopened after renovations in 2013, Mineira Poundo was chosen as one of the venues for the 2014 FIFA World Cup and also the soccer tournament of the 2016 Summer Olympics. Another stadium in Belo Horizonte, Independa NCIA Stadium, was one of the venues of the 1950 FIFA World Cup, where it hosted a legendary upset of the United States team over England. The biggest teams of Belo Horizonte and Minas as a whole are Atla copyright Tico Monero, founded in 1908 and nicknamed Galo after its mascot, and Cruot Ciro. Founded in 1921 as Palestra Italia by the members of the local Italian community, but renamed in the 1940s as the government of Guita Leo Vargas forbid mentions to the Axis powers. 
Atla Copyright Tic 01 The inaugural edition of the Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright Rye in 1971, Tuku Mebel Cups, is the biggest winner of the state championship with 41 titles and the current holder of the title of the Libertadores Cup champion. Cruz Zero won 36 state championships, defeated Pela Copyright S. Santos in the 1966 Tour section of Brazil, and has been one of Brazil's most successful clubs since the 1970s being elected the most successful Brazilian team of the 20th century by IFFHS. Its titles include four editions of the Brazilian Cup, the 2003 Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright Rye, and two Copa Libertadores in 1976 and 1997. Cruzeiro is one of the only five clubs to have never been relegated in the National League, while Atla Copyright Tico only missed the 2006 edition, following a relegation in the previous year. Below Horizonte is also home to Arma Copyright Rica Mineiro, founded in 1912 current owner of Independa NCIA and considered the third force of the state. While the team's struggles combined with the popularization of Atla Copyright Tico and Cruzeiro reduced Arma Copyright Rica's supporters, the team has won both the second and third levels of the Brazilian Championship, the Sul Minas Cup in 2000, and 15 state championships, including a record dynasty of 10 tournaments between 1916 and 1925. Both Villanova of Nova Lima and Betim Sporty Club have won the state championship and been in Zara Copyright Rye of the Brazilian League. Besides football, Belo Horizonte has one of the largest attendances at volleyball matches in the whole country. Multisport club Minas Tarnis Club had its male and female teams win the Brazilian Super League of Volleyball, with contagion based Sada Cruzeiro also winning the male tournament. The Brazil national volleyball team has had some of its highest attendance numbers at Minha Renu, an arena located near the Mineira Pando Stadium. On basketball, both Minas and Urbela Sendaias Urbela Sendaia Tarnis Club are in the national tournament. Flag the flag of the state of Minas Gerais is the oldest one adopted in Brazil that was devised by Brazilians. It was remembered by the Republican Party, which opposed the Brazilian imperial government, and adopted unofficially as the flag of the state. It has been the official state flag since 1963. The flag's Latin inscription, Libertas Que Sera Taman, means freedom albeit late, and was the motto of the Inconfida NCIA Mineira which fought for Minas' independence from Portugal in the 18th century. The phrase was taken from Virgil's Eclogues, Eclogue 1. The triangle is said to represent God as a trinity, and the three ideals of the French Revolution, Libita copyright, Egalita copyright, Fraternita copyright, but as Masons influenced independence movements throughout America, the geometric figure on the flag is a clear homage to them. The colors were chosen for their revolutionary meaning, White represents the desire to forming a peaceful nation, discarding all colonial institutions, and red symbolizes the flame of liberty and all the blood of inconfidencia martyrs, such as Tiradentes, or the dentist revolutionary. Cities In spite of not being the largest state of Brazil, Minas Gerais has the largest number of cities. Of the more than 5,500 municipalities in the country, Minas has 853 of them, a fact explained by the number of inhabitants and by the vast territory. The most notable cities are, the capital below Horizonte, Contigem, Betim, Jus de Fora, Vargina, Meri, Montes Claros, Urbela Centendaya, Governador Valadez, Ipatinga, Po Section Os de Caldas, Seat Lagoas, Yulbareba, Peitos de Minas, Divina Cubed Polis, Barbacena, Pauso Alegre, Consul Hero Lafayette and Oro Preto. References Further reading, Cheney, Glenn Allen, Journey on the Estrada Real, Encounters in the Mountains of Brazil, ISBN 0-89733-530-9, External links, Portuguese, Page of the Government of Minas Gerais, Portuguese, Page of the Legislative Assembly of Minas Gerais.